Hello YouTube. Recently I was searching for my more familiar topics, uh, looking for atheistic videos on YouTube, and I came across one by a channel called Zoo Sexuality. The video was a channel introduction and I watched it. In it, the uh, person pictured describes themselves as an atheist, transgendered, vegan, various other things, and then zoosexual. Zoosexual is a term which I'd never heard of before, but could quite easily identify as beast or best eality, having sex with animals. This channel may or may not be of a trolling nature. Troll or not, the video became of interest to me due to its comment section. I commented that the previous labels that they'd given themselves uh, or identified with were completely fine, they were for their own choice and uh, as long as they weren't affecting anyone or anything else it wasn't a problem. However, when it came to zoosexuality, there was. Uh, my problem with it being that animals can't give informed consent. With prolonged sexual activity, it is probable, in my opinion, that you're going to cause some sort of distress to the animal, either physically or mentally. And despite the fact that animals can have obvious biological reactions to stimuli, without becoming too graphic, it is not in and of itself consent, just as if someone reaches climax through rape, it is not consensual. There were various other points that I've made in the comment section, talking with other people who were justifying this course of action, without identifying as zoosexual themselves. Many of these arguments spring from libertarian viewpoints. It's up to the person. Equating it with gay rights. Uh, equating it with uh, atheist and secular rights. Uh, all of which I found to be flawed, as you can read in the comment section, which is linked here or under more information. Regardless of this being a trolling video or not, there are other videos and other channels that identify, I think, a lot more clearly as zoosexual or beast or bestiality related. One of these is Dogs Need Pleasure Too. Um, someone who just commented to me. I don't want to go through all of the arguments, all of the positions here, but I want to know what you think, because looking at it, despite the ratings on the first video, Zoo Sexuality Channel Introduction, uh, being very negative, there also seems to be quite a split in the comments. There is one point that I would make uh, in this video, Several people in the comment section there have said that animals can give consent. Which, even if you grant that animals can give consent, many of the animals that they are talking about are purchased animals. They own them. If an animal were to somehow withdraw its consent, I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, the animal is purchased, it has very little choice, I would say that a human being that has been brought into slavery could not give free and informed consent to sexual activity with their master, and even if you granted the same mental capacity to various animals, they couldn't do the same either. If you could do me a favour and let me know what you think, perhaps checking out these channels first, seeing what they have to say um, at your own discretion. Is this a matter of human rights, human privilege? Is this a matter of animal rights? Is there a blurred line between killing an animal quickly and having sex with it for prolonged periods? 
lots of questions. If you can sum up your positions, that would be of interest to me. Personally, I don't think that there are going to be many arguments made that can change my position on this, but there seem to be some very entrenched views. Anyway, I should be making some more videos soon, however, real life activity has drawn me away from the internets of late. Thank you for watching.